Hello everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today, we are going to make a Java project on library management system. Let us begin. Let us first see the requirements. You will be requiring a Java IDE. You can choose any IDE of your choice and a Swing module to create a beautiful interface. Let us now understand the working of the source code. Here's my main method. I am creating an object of class issue book. This class is a GUI form. So to create one, you need to go over here in the project package, click on new, click on Swing UI designer and then GUI form. Two files will get created. I have named the class as issue book, which I am returning in the main method. Okay. Uh, and this is the form. I have created a form. Uh, this is a very simple form and uh, name this panel as the main panel provided the margins in uh, all four sides and uh, added these buttons and added the listeners of it. From here, you can go and create listeners. Okay, let's move on to the code. Uh, created an object of uh, JFrame class and uh, these lines uh, you will be requiring. So whenever you create an object of issue book class, uh, this form will get visible. Okay. Uh, Let's uh, move on to the button function. I am just uh, passing the object of library class and return class. Okay. Let's see these forms. These classes are also the GUI form. Okay. Let's first see the this library class. Okay. This uh, interface uh, I have created using the JTEX fields and these are the labels and these two here are the J panels with border layout. Okay. And uh, provided the names and this is the method. Uh, this is the button to issue book. Uh, added the listener to. Okay. Let's see the code. Okay. Uh, so these fields will get created automatically as you design the uh, interface and then similarly uh, created created an object of uh, JFrame class and then added the uh, J date choosers two J date choosers for providing a calendar in that J panel. So uh, add these lines, similar lines, and then this this is the panel name, due date and date data. I am adding my J date chooser, okay, this uh, issue date and due date one into the panel, okay. So let's move on to the working of the button. This is my button, issue book button. So first I am checking if all the fields are null or not. If they are null, then uh, the message will get displayed. Please fill all fields to add record. Else. Uh, this uh, this is the query line and uh, you need to I am using the prepared statement so this is the syntax for it okay and uh, build the connection through this line pass the URL your database name and the username and password using the prepared statement to run the query and then these uh, statements are required to add the data in the table so in the first uh, row, first column, I am adding my name, okay, over here, name. And in the second, the book name. And uh, I'm getting these names uh, from the text fields. And this is the issue date over here. And this is the uh, due date, okay. I'm formatting it over here first. So format it in the same way. Uh, it will uh, get the uh, date in the same format like you choose from the calendar. Okay, then uh, uh, executing this execute update method. Then finally popping the message book issued successfully and disposing the frame. Okay, this is the all about the library class. Then the return class. This is the form. Uh, this is the table and provide the table under the scroll pane. 
first add the scroll pane then the table these are the text fields this is the j panels with names i have provided and uh, this also uh, is of border layout and these are the two buttons close button and return book button let's see the working okay uh, created the constructor and provide the same code to display the panel and uh, then these codes are for adding the calendar to the panel okay and uh, passing this method table data to display data into the table this is my uh, return book button uh, first i am checking if the fields are null or not if they are null then uh, met uh, then message will pop up please fill all the fields to return and else this query will get executed first building the connection using prepare statement to update this is the query and uh, passing uh, the name data i'm checking if uh, it's the the name data uh, the name provided in the text field and the book name are same in the database or not okay and then i am updating it this is the name of my uh, table okay then fine is calculated with the uh, number of days first i am just uh, subtracting both the due date and the return date okay this is the math.absolute to get the value and then the answer will be in milliseconds so i am storing it here and then this line will get uh will get executed so that the milliseconds will get converted into days then if the days are zero if the user uh, return the book at uh, on the same day as the due date so he'll be fine with uh, zero and uh, if uh, he returns after a few days so each day he'll be charged five rupees okay then executing it storing it in the database then popping the message book returned successfully and finally the table data is executed this is the close button i am uh, just disposing the frame this frame return frame this is my table data method this is the query and building the connection storing the result of the query in result set and then using the set model to set the model uh, this is the method which i have created on my own but you can use dbutils class dbutils dot uh, set uh, result set to table model and then pass your result set into that it will work in the same way okay this is it let's run the program issue book so your name for example book name issue date okay uh, 7th and the due date is 10th issue book book issued successfully then return book okay uh, so the data gets saved let's provide it book name was maths book due date was 10th and the return date i am returning it on 12th okay so two days gap okay so five rupees per day 10 rupees is charged okay it's working fine i hope you understand the working of the code thanks for watching subscribe to our channel for more interesting project ideas